I'm Cody Johnson and welcome to iFiber One's inside look at the Grant County Fair. Over the next 30 minutes, my co-host Liberace and I are going to take you on a tour of one of the best county fairs in Washington State, including the food, live entertainment, rodeo, and of course, all the animals. You may not know this, but county fairs dated all the way back to the 1850s. They started off as a way for farmers to show off their produce and livestock. Over the years, the Grant County Fair has grown into a huge attraction that mixes old traditions with new ideas and draws visitors from all over the state. It got a start back in 1911 and was originally hosted in Wilson Creek. In 1913, it moved to Ephrata before it found its permanent home here in Moses Lake. But let me tell you, it's not all fun and games. Well, actually it is. It's, in fact, it is. It's mostly fun and games, but there's a great deal of charitable work going on, too. The Lioness Club of Moses Lake has been serving space burgers here for the past 50 years. They'll serve between six and 7,000 space burgers a day during the fair, with all the proceeds going to several groups throughout the community. For us, this is a big accomplishment because we have done this pretty much all on our own with sometimes 30 or less women and volunteers, of course. Everything we make, we give back to the community, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club, Youth Dynamics, and we get a lot of donation requests, a, a lot. And we try to help as many as we can, and when it comes to an organization like the library, we were glad to try to do what we could to get them the updated cabinets and shelving that they needed, because it's actually a very nice building and it's been here forever. Another interesting fact is that the Spaceburger contraptions were purchased from the 1974 World's Fair in Spokane. But the recipe is top secret, so don't even ask. And that will conclude your history lesson for the day because I'm getting hungry. After a few space burgers, my next stop was for donuts and smoothies because I try to balance my space food diet with real earth food. I talked to Spencer Hoke, the head manager at Maui's Minis, to get some info on his operation. So you're the head manager here. Uh -huh. how, how is the staff here? Are, are they good, or I noticed you got your sister over there. Are, are you about ready to fire her, or is she doing okay today? Okay. Is she going to get a raise this year or not? Um, no. Probably not. Okay. So how long have you been the manager here? Um, for, huh. 15 minutes, give or take? Um, no, more like a day. <laughs> a whole day. Okay. So what have you learned about running a donut and smoothie operation? Make sure you wa you wash your hands. Never wash your hands. Well, oh wait. Make sure you make wash sure your hands. you wash your hands. Okay. <laughs> make sure you never touch the food you're selling. Don't touch the food you're selling unless you're gonna eat it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, all. That's about it. You know, everything else is downhill. It's easy, right? After that. Yeah. Hey, you're doing a super job back here. Let me shake your hand. Okay. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Thank you That's for so letting cool. me on your little show. <laughs> Well, Spencer, if you bring the donuts, you can be on my little show anytime you want. I'm going to do a quick quality control check, but when we come back, Liberace and I are going to take you to see some more animals. Can you spell Liberace? No. Ellie. Oh, I love you. We're all having a good time at the Great Family Fair today. Everybody should just rusty old banjo. Well, have a good time tonight. 